In this video, we will go over F1 score, precision, recall, true positive, true negative, all those terms. Because if you are trying to learn machine learning or data science, uh, knowing these terms is extremely important. They will be used everywhere. So if you don't know these terms, it's really bad. Uh, so I have this data set of dog images where six images are dog images and then four images are not dog images. So there is a binary classification here, dog versus not a dog. And let's say if you build a machine learning model or let's say you ask someone to make a guess of what these images are. And let's say this is your prediction. This is a prediction, hence it will not be true. It will be making some mistakes, okay? Uh, so now let's first, I have grayed out no dog uh, predictions. Okay, so we just, just think of predictions as your base and let's only talk about positive predictions, which is dog. Okay, that's why I'm graying out this no dog predictions. Okay, so forget those no dog predictions for now. And you have now a total seven or uh, dog predictions. Out of those seven, how many of them are correct? Well, one, this is not correct. This is correct. Okay, so you have classified, you have basically marked your prediction as correct or not correct, okay, for your positive class, which is dog. Whichever predictions are correct here are called true positive. So here the positive thing, which is the second word, means your class, our positive class, which is in green is dog. So out of those positive prediction, how many of them are true really? So when you try to identify them as true, you compare it with reality. So when we compared all this with reality, we found only four predictions were true for dog. And three were wrong. So those are called false positives. So this again, the second word positive indicates what's the outcome of your prediction. Okay, the outcome of the prediction was for these three samples, which are uh, red marked, was positive, but they are false. So the first word indicates the reality. In reality, they are false. Okay, now think about no dog uh, predictions. Okay, so forget all those greens. That's why I have graded it out. So here, again, I will go and compare all these three predictions with the reality. So two of these predictions are right, uh, two of these are wrong and one is right. So true negative here is called one. The negative, the second word means your class, which is no dog, which is, which is negative class, right, in our case. And out of these three predictions, only one was true, that's why it's called true negative is one. And false negative is two. Basically, out of our three negative predictions, two are false. So now I have marked all my uh, predictions here. So basically, this shows out of all my predictions, which predictions are correct and which are wrong. Okay. So we got total five right. And that is called accuracy. How many of your predictions you got right? doesn't matter positive or negative predictions how many of your predictions you got it right so we got 5 out of 10 right and hence accuracy is 0.5 okay now in this diagram again we are going back to only positive uh, class so forget the no dog prediction just take those out of your uh, visualization here we saw true positive was 4 and false positive were 3 so precision is out of all dog predictions, how many you got it right? So it is four by seven. So you have total seven dog predictions, right? Seven things you predicted it to be dog. Out of that, only four are dog. So that's why precision is four by seven point fifty seven. So this is the formula for precision, true positive divided by true positive false plus false positive. Okay, now let's talk about recall. So the 
when you're thinking about recall you always think about truth as your baseline so what is my truth my in my truth total six samples are dog samples okay but when i predicted uh, only i got four as uh, correct predictions for dog so recall is out of all your dog, dog truth samples how many you got right so you had total six dog samples out of that you got four right hence four divided by six point sixty seven is your recall okay so recall is basically here is my truth okay and in my truth I have six dog samples out of that how many we are able to predict correctly so now Precision recall has subtle difference, which is when you're thinking about precision, always think about predictions as your baseline. When you're thinking about recall, think about truth as your base. Now let's talk about the negative class. So by the way, precision and recall is for individual class. So the previously what we saw was precision and recall for dog class. Now we are seeing precision and recall for not a dog class. So in not a dog class, precision is 1 by 3. Because when you're thinking about precision, you're always thinking about predictions. So it's like, how many predictions do I have for no dog class? Well, 3. And how many of them are, uh, are correct predictions? Well, 1. So 1 by 3, 0.33. When you think about recall, okay, pause this video, try to guess what will be your recall. For recall, you think about truth is your baseline. Okay, so what is my truth? All right, in my truth, how many no dog samples I have? Well, one, two, three, four. And how many of them I got right? Well, only one. See, there is a green check mark here. So out of four no dog images I had, I was able to predict only one image correctly. That's why one by four is 0.25. Now you'll ask me, what is F1 score? Because you see F1 score everywhere along with recall and precision, whatever. Okay, so F1 scores uh, definition on Wikipedia is two into precision into recall divided by precision plus recall. It is just a harmonic mean of precision and recall. It just gives you the overall health or overall performance of your model so now we are going to write some code in python to check all these things okay so i have imported some uh, libraries in my jupyter notebook and i have uh, written this function actually this function i have uh, sourced it from this uh, gist so thank you for whoever wrote this function and it will just plot a confusion matrix confusion matrix is uh, let me show you what is confusion matrix okay so I have all this sample, so like a dog, not a dog. These, these are the same samples that we saw in our presentation, right? So in our presentation that we had, see, we had dog, no dog, 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 dog. So see, dog, no dog, 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 dog. All right. And then prediction. Okay, what was the prediction? Dog, 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 no dog. Okay, dog, 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 no dog. So that's what we have in truth and prediction. When you do confusion matrix, you need to supply truth and prediction. And when you print confusion matrix, this is how it looks like. So on the y axis, you have truth. X axis, you have prediction. What this four means is four times I had dog as a truth and I predicted that to be a dog. So four times I got it right. This is my true positive. Two times the truth was dog look at the y-axis two times the truth was dog but i actually predicted it to be not a dog so i got it wrong similarly three times it was not a dog but i predicted it to be dog and one time it was not a dog i predicted it to be do not a dog so anything that you see on a diagonal those are all correct predictions and these all are errors so two and three is an error okay when you print a classification report using this function, so in, in sklearn there is a classification report that you can, after building your machine learning model, you can always print that report. 
and in that report just see the accuracy it says 0 0.50 so if you look at our presentation see the accuracy was 0 0.50 then the pre uh, precision for dog was 0 0.57 and recall was 0 0.67 so precision was 0.57 and a recall was 0.67 similarly not a dog was 0 0.33 0 0.25 0 0.33 0 0.33 25 sorry okay what is f1 score now f1 score is i just use this formula to into precision into recall precision plus recall and this is the f1 score for a dog class which is see 0.62 almost so here 0.62 and not a dog class is 0.28 uh, here's 0 0.29 because see these are also not rounded these induced numbers are not so there is some rounding thing going on but but it is true believe me so now you understood precision recall f1 score true positive true negative so this understanding will help you a lot when you're uh, learning machine learning or in general statistics. I hope you're liking this uh, deep learning series so far. I have so many videos in this deep learning series, so please watch them. In these videos, I also provide exercises and I provide very simple explanation, which is perfect for beginners. So I have theory and code and exercise in all my tutorials. So please make sure you check video description and follow the deep learning series. The link of this Jupyter notebook is available in the video description below. Thank you. Bye.